some things in Europe are now short-sighted due to the increase in time spent using computers and smartphones. Joining us now, hi, Dr. Peter Hirsch. And, uh, you know, we, we, we uh, go around like this, Doc, uh, all the time, you know, with these things. Is, is causing nearsightedness? You know, we're finding that there is seemingly an increase in nearsightedness in uh, millennials, uh, people in, in their 20s, upwards now of about 40% of, uh, of kids in their, in their 20s and 30s are, are nearsighted. This has always been the case in, in Asia, in East Asia, where there's been a high degree of nearsightedness, which seems to be increasing over the years. So um, nearsightedness, just to get a picture, you can see something near, you can't see something far. Right. In nearsightedness, your eye is a little bit too long for the optics of your eyes. So you can hold things up close and see them, but distance vision is decreased. All right, what happens What happens with the 40th birthday, though? Because I remember, at 40, I was 40-something, and they said, I said, I, I can't, I, my arms aren't long enough to read anymore. The, uh, it's, the, the lens starts getting hard. Right, and that, then you can't see up close. Then what's going to happen? That happens to all of us. As you get older, the lens inside the eye becomes stiffer. Just like your knee becomes stiffer, the lens inside the eye becomes stiffer. So you have to hold things farther and farther away, and pretty soon you need reading glasses. So what's going to happen to these millennials who are getting nearsightedness now? When they hit 40. What happens if you have both problems? You can't see a distance and you also have difficulty seeing up close when you wear your glasses or contact lenses. What do you what do you what do you tell people? What do you tell the young patients that you talk to? You know, it's unclear what's causing uh, the problem. Uh, it probably mostly is genetic. Uh, if your parents have nearsightedness, you're more likely to be nearsighted. Whether consistent use of computers and tablets and devices may cause eye strain, particularly younger kids and maybe precipitate and accelerate nearsightedness, we don't know yet, but probably some of the things to think about. Well, since uh, we've heard the, the warnings for having your children limit the time on the screen, so that's probably good advice here. I think it probably is, yeah. So one of the suggestions has been, uh, studies have shown that outdoor time is helpful, relaxing your eyes, what? looking at what? distance. Get up and get out away from your computer. <laughs> Study hard. Say, thank you so much. Thank good you very advice. much. Thank you very much for joining us.